Hello! Today we are going to unbox a product that we haven't taken a look at before and that is the Ryobi Palm Sander. So we are going to unbox it and we're going to test some different sandpapers and we are of course going to try it. So stay tuned! So let's take a closer look at the box shall we? So this is the front side, it says, yeah, it gives some information about the box, the, <clears throat> uh, how many oscillations per minute, that's 22,000, I'm not sure if that's a lot or not. Uh, hook and loop, that's the mounting, uh, that's the mounting mechanism for the, for the sandpapers. It weighs just 0 0.61 kilograms. And that's great. It uses the, the classic OnePlus, uh, OnePlus battery system from Ryobi. And it is the R18PS0 model. It is 18 volts, and it uses 18 volts batteries. And <clears throat> it says here in the box that if you are using a 1.5 amp hours battery, it will last for 40 minutes. If you are using a 4 uh, amp hours uh, battery, it can last up to 120 minutes, so 2 hours. And it doesn't include a battery, so you have to get that if you don't already, already have it. And it also includes a couple of uh, sandpapers in the box, so 2 with uh, 60 grit, 2 with 120. And one night two with 240 grit for some paper. I also bought some extras um, just in case because why not? Um, <clears throat> so they are triangular, so as you can see in the photo, and it has ventilation holes, and these are specifically for this uh, pond sander, and it's sit now three times sixty. 3 times 80 and 4 times 120. Uh, it is sad that you can't get this uh, this individually or just one grit. Like I just want 120, then I can't get it. I have to buy the pack with four of them and six others. Um, but I think you may you could try to use some other. Uh, manufacturers, uh, triangular sandpaper, or just cut one yourself, but uh, yeah, let's unbox it then. I haven't opened it yet, so we have to try. Um, okay. First thing we see, we see the bottom or the side of the palm sandy. Just Pull it out and see what else is in the box. We of course have safety warnings, a brochure with other tools in the OnePlus 18 volt series, and a instruction manual. And here in the box we can see that we have yeah the sandpapers, the triangular sandpapers. I will show those closer soon. There's just something more in the box I just want to look at. Yeah, so this is, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is, uh, oh, this is great. So this is so you can mount this to the, somewhere. Yes, I have to look at the manual. No, it's on the side here. We see. Oh, we can have a closer look at that. Uh, the sandpapers, yeah. So you can take a look at the 160 grit or the 60 grit. We can see here. It says P60. It has holes for. I guess those are for ventilation. Yeah, it's holes underneath, so that the. Uh, uh, all the, the wood or the particles can be sucked out. And we can also see we can tear it here to make it smaller. So 
you want to do that. But yeah, the machine itself. So here we have um, oh this this gray part, which is here and here. It's a zero here and a one here. I guess that's power on. That's power off. So that's yeah easy to get to when you are when you're using it and you need to pause it. Oh, it's it's a very soft and grippy surface here. Also, all the dark gray parts are like a soft, or not soft, but softer, uh, grippy plastic or rubber. Mm, and of course, this is where the battery goes in. And we have the part where the sandpaper goes. Oh, so you can see, I can move it a little bit. And yeah, this little the black part here is like a latch yeah so i don't know if you can see this but this is where you mount the extra part here so i'll just put it in to show you this is so you can connect a, a vacuum so that you can suck at all the, the wood particles i don't know what that's called in english but yeah you get the picture so Let's also mount the battery. And okay, there it is. Still a lot of space to mount the uh, vacuum to this. And with, an, with the one and a half amp hours battery, it's not too heavy. You are going, of course, uh, mostly using it downward, so you may use it. So. Either way, so it's somewhat heavy with the battery. I guess with the larger batteries, it becomes quite heavier. <laughs> and I also have the five amp hour batteries, which I am going to use it with later. And with the battery, it's easy just put it down. Yeah, and we also want to. To mount, uh, you can see here it's like a what do they call it again? Hook and loop, of course. Uh, so I'll just take out one of the sandpapers here, and I don't know if you are able to see this. I don't know if you able to focus or yeah, like more a lot of hooks here, and this is like where the loops are, I guess. And then you just line up the. The edge here. It's quite easy to line up since it's, it's uh, made for this. Just press it against it and then you're ready to go. I yeah, somewhat managed to mark nah, to line it up with the holes in the base here. But that's all to it. And you have all you have to do to take it off is find the corner and pull gently. And then you can switch it out for a new one. So that's easy and great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try this on a door, uh, which I'm going to, <clears throat> which I'm going to take off some glue and the lac so I can paint the door. And yeah, I'll try to film it. <laughs> so see you outside. And now we are outside in the wilderness. I have put my door on a table here, it's a bit wobbly, but it's the best I could find to this height. And yeah, let's start uh, grinding. I have my, my palm sander here, make some noise. And I also found my 5.0 amp hours battery. And I have another one charging, so let's hope we can get through this door. I'll put on some time lapse, so let's enjoy that, shall we?
So, that was me sanding down about a quarter of the door, half of one side, and um, I'm really impressed by this little guy. I, oh, a little bit hard to take the battery out. Uh, it's just so comfortable to hold. I had uh, a cord the one before. Um, and that one shaked like crazy and it was so long my hands got really uh, my hands started to hurt really bad real fast but this one has, is so it's so dampened in this so i don't all the the black part down here is shaking or like rotating uh, what did it say in the package? 22,000 times a minute. And like you can feel some minor vibrant vibrations in your hands, but nothing that much. Um, I burned through one of my 5 milliamp hour batteries and it wasn't fully charged and they are some years old so i don't know they don't i don't think they have their or, original capacity anymore because i've used them quite a lot but i'm really happy about how far i got and i i did notice it getting slower and slower at the end so i switched to the new one and it went like crazy so <laughs> that, that was really fun um the sandpaper that followed with uh, was really nice to use. I started off with uh, 80, I think, uh, and that. No, I. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong way. I'm. St I started at 240 because I was thinking I'm just trying to take the previous, like coating on the on the door. Oh, sorry. So I tried taking off, I just tried to take off the, the upper coating of the door, like, a, I don't know exactly what it was, like, a, yeah, whatever. Uh, and it went so slow, so I went up to 120. And that has been perfect. It really takes off a smooth layer without like taking off too much too quickly. I had some accidents around the corners here and uh, it didn't take long before it <laughs> like tried to take down the corners. Uh, I really like this, this shape uh, of the bottom here. It makes it really nice to get into corners or like uh, the, the way I used it was I didn't use it flat. I did tilt it some ways either backwards or from left to right to and then it went a little bit faster and it was easier to control because when I had it just flat down it tried to walk some uh, and it was kind of hard to control but when I just tilted it just a little bit uh, it felt so much controllable and like uh, I know I know you can see into these corners but like Having this shape was so nice and to get into right into the corner here. The only thing I didn't get to take is like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's curved. So I'd like to take this by hand, but that, that doesn't, doesn't take long because it's a, it's a small area. And what did impress me was the cooling of this thing because there are some ventilation holes like small ones here and here and at the bottom over here but it wasn't like a crazy fan effect where with it blowing in everywhere because that would be painful because of all the dust but i think i had it running one hour without taking it off or maybe just taking it off <laughs> just taking it off uh, for a couple of seconds and it didn't get warm at all 
Like I, I tried touching it uh, during use and like carefully and I didn't notice it. When I shifted around I can only feel where my hands had warmed it up. <laughs> so that's amazing. I've ha I have a couple of... I, I have more things from Ryobi and they never disappointed me. All their battery powered stuff has been amazing. So I know this has been a different thing for us to review on our having an impression of in our channel. And what do you think about it? Do you want us to test more things like this? Home improvements, garden equipment or anything? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I will be sure to to I'll be sure to leave a link to the, this product in the description below so you can check it out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, consider to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Have a good one.